Hey guys, so in this Flutter tutorial, let's check out how to make internet calls in Flutter by making use of Flutter DO library and show the response in our Flutter application in this format as I'm showing over here. So this is the API response that I'm getting. So it has simply a superhero name description and his images. Okay, and the response I'm just showing it in our Flutter application in a list format. Okay, so let's check it out how to uh, implement this in our Flutter application. Okay, so now we are in Render Studio IDE and here I have opened my existing Flutter project in which I want to make internet calls and show the data in our Flutter application. So now it simply have a scaffold widget with an empty container in it. Okay, so you can see over here. So this is simply a white screen that is a container. Okay, so first of all, we need to go to pop specification.yaml file and under dependency section, we need to add DO library so that we can make use of it to make internet calls. Okay, so let me show you the URL that I'm going to hit by making use of DO library and get the data. Okay, so this is the JSON file that is in my website. So you can say it as an API that responds JSON data and it has a superhero list as you can see. So there are five items. Each has superheroes with the name of a superhero, description, his power and a URL that is the image of a superhero. Okay, so this is the API that I'm going to hit and get the data and show it in our Flutter application in a form of list. Okay, so let's go to Android Studio again. Okay, so after adding the library, you just need to import it in the main.dat file. So import do.dat. Okay, so before making an internet call, let me complete my UI design that is a list view in our scaffold widget that is over here i want to show a list view so let me fast forward this uh, coding part okay so now let's make a internet calls and get the data from our api url so for that i'm going to create a function over here so void get data and this function will be of type async as i'm going to make internet calls and here let me handle the error by making use of try catch block okay so inside try block i'm going to make internet calls okay so for that first of all create a variable which will hold our response from our api response is equal to await do dot get method so i'm going to get the data from our api okay so here we need to paste our url Okay, and that's it. So you are able to use this package as we have imported it over here. Okay, and this data response will get stored in this variable. Okay, so let me check it. Print response. Okay, so I need to make call this function whenever our app starts. So I can do it in init state. So inside init state, let's call this method. Okay, so hot refresh and check. Okay, so you can see I got a response from my API over here. Okay, so we have our data over here. Uh, so here now let's validate the data. Let's check if the response was success or no. So response dot status code. If it is 200, then it means we have our data as accepted. Okay, else we can just print something went wrong. So it might be because of network issue or server issue. So you will get the code printed over here. Okay. So here inside if statement, we need to store our response in a form of list. We need to convert our response that is in JSON format in a array format. Okay, so let's do that. So for that, let me create a variable over here. So variable JSON list. Okay, so in this JSON list, I'm going to store my response. Okay, so for that here set state. So inside set state JSON list response we got from our API dot data and here as you can see we get data in this format that is we have superhero as a key and it has five data in it okay so here superhero and let's convert it into a list and now i can make use of this json list and show it in our list view so here first we need to get the item counts so we can make use of this so if this is equal to equal to null then we just need to show empty list view so let's pass zero and if it has data then we just need to give the length of our data so length okay so if it has four data then four items will get created and if 
if there is no internet calls been uh, successfully fetched until that we will just show zero items in our list view okay so now let's use this items and show our title superhero titles json list of first index and here uh, superhero name that is key and the same thing for his power that is subtitle so here we need to pass our power okay so now let's hot refresh our app and check the response that we get so you can see we have title of our api that is superhero name and the description so let's show an image over here so for that in the list tell we can make use of the leading icon sorry the leading uh, property so here rectangle clip okay so inside this we can show our network image so network image dot image dot network and here json list of index zero of key url okay so let's hot refresh and check so you can see we have a image so let's crop it and make it circle by making use of uh, clip rectangle property that is border radius border radius border radius dot circular so let's give size 80 and for image property let's make use of fit box box fit dot fill and let's give same uh, image size as you can see we have different size been shown over here so let's make all the image size same so let's give height and width to our image width i will give as 50 and height i will give as 50 okay so now if i hot refresh and you can see we have our data that has been fetched from duo library and showing it our in our flutter application okay so that's all for this video tutorial the complete source code of this uh, tutorial will be on web my website that is protocodespoint.com you can just get the source code from that thanks for watching please do subscribe protocodespoint thank you